Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Leading Change. My name is Emma Roloff and I've got Jeff with me today. And we're gonna be talking about the customer experience. But before I get into the questions that I've got for you, Jeff, can you give everybody an introduction? Yes, hi, my name is Jeff Shi, and I am the founder of InsurTech Group. Wonderful, thank you. So while we were prepping for our conversation, you shared this idea of like the original innovator or InsurTech feel towards customer experience in the industry. Can you get started by sharing a little bit about who that is in your mind and why you have that opinion? Yeah, so... InsurTech these days is hot buzzwords, right? And there's so many InsurTechs. There's InsurTech commissions, InsurTech conferences, InsurTech technology, InsurTech VCs. And there's a lot of investment going in from into moving insurance forward. That's how I think of InsurTech. And the T is over-focused right now, in my opinion. And um, if you go to an InsurTech conference like ITC, you probably see 99, 98% of the people in the room screaming about their tech. And then you also have legacy companies, the big billion dollar personal line carriers, commercial line carriers, all want to improve their software, improve the integration, improve their systems. And so they are now also screaming tech. And, and recently we have had some company went from going public and some company went, went from getting acquired and started with Roots Metro Miles and then later on Hippo Lemonade went public and then now we have Branch and Openly, they're both coming, right? They're both fantastic organizations and they probably become their own unicorns. And that's the mainstream public, that's how they view InsurTech is when they look up to these companies and they say, hey, there's InsurTech. And I just want to remind people like the original InsurTech was USAA, right? Now you have State Farm, Farmer, all say nationwide, all doing their business, interacting with their customers going through the buying experience one way where they would lay, roll out these retail shopping centers, subway style, blockbuster style models of agencies. And insurance was purchased face-to-face, knee-to-knee, right? In Sears, inside Sears, inside these shopping centers. And USA was really to first challenge that. And then the original Geico founder, government employment insurance company, she came from USA as well. They were all first to challenge the distribution model, how insurance is being bought, right? But a lot of people forget like one of the reasons why USA is so dominant, so successful outside their business model is their motto. What do they preach? They preach client experience. They preach customer experience. And they're not always the cheapest, but they're always industry leading customer satisfaction and that equal to the results of retention and client experience is everything right and that's why you have them have one line two line three line five line six line of penetration of household products from life umbrella all the way up to checking savings and credit cards right so i just want to remind people if they want to look forward make sure they look backwards right make sure that how is the original guys who short tech, the industry, how did they get there to succeed? So as we look at this idea of customer experience and maybe looking back to look forward, as you're shaping your own customer experience within your organization, how are you using some of these components to influence that approach? There's culture, no doubt, right? How you treat your team, that's the beginning. And then connecting the process. Do we want our client to be on whole going through a rain tone, a tree rains, right? Do we want our customer to be transferred to five different places, right? Like we had to take some of the best in the industry, like Zappos, like Chick-fil-A, and then study them. And then also there's technologies. We want to use third-party softwares. And a lot of companies out there building their own. I have no knock on it. You know, but the only thing when you build your own is you are really married to your technology. You are live or die with it, right? Because you have spent so much money invested. We took a different approach. We took an open source concept type of approach to our software all look. And we are using the third-party software that's all there. And we were rebranding as ourselves and white labeling it. And to, so this way that consumer, when they face it, they continue to get the feel, the native feel of insure tech groups, right? Continue to do business with us. But in reality, we want to use as many softwares from AI, texting, automations, emails, all these things just continue 
to increase our level of consumer touch with our consumers. And our goal is eight touch a year, whether they're claiming with us, having found claim, or going through um, renews. But our goal is eight touch a year to be the industry leading expert. And the experience you had to touch your customers. So, what suggestions do you have then for other companies that are looking to shape their customer experience again with this mindset and like your passion for this idea in mind? That is a big question. What advice or suggestions? Everybody loves tech, right? Tech is sexy. Tech is the one thing that can maybe get your company capital raised, right? But at the same time, like, I know they can trillion that will disappear from our stock market. And you're going to have to be a real company, build revenues at EBITDA. And real revenue, real EBITDA come from ish have having customers and having happy customers. When we try to build forward thinking, make sure that our end result is who we serving. If your end result realize you're still serving the customer, make sure you put just as much focus in serving the customer. And I think insurance is a noble thing and we're here to do a noble job. So, you know, if you focus on doing that job really well, everything else will fall into place. Thank you so much for joining me for the conversation, Jeff. And for anybody that isn't already, make sure that you make your way over and follow Jeff on LinkedIn. He's always sharing insights and information on the insurance industry that I would suggest everybody checks out. But thank you again so much. And thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Leading Change. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe and come back weekly for more expert interviews on digital transformation, change management, and emerging technologies.